Book Bolt Review. Hi, I'm Kerry from Dream Creative B, where I give you honest reviews and tips about making money online. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button to be notified about any other videos I make. So today I'm doing a review about Book Bolt. I'm going to do a deep dive into all the different things that Book Bolt does. So the reason why I've like book vault is because it's got so many different tools to use first off there are some free tools for you to use like the interior wizard that you can use but it's also got kdp category finder and interior pdf combiner but that is pro and that is on the paid plan so let's go and have a look and see what book vault actually has so the first part it gives you some tutorial videos there's about eight or nine of them. I've been through them all and they teach you basically how to use the software and how good the software is for searching. And it searches KDP books like independently published or create space. It doesn't search all the other books, but it's also got a tool that you can use directly on Amazon that tells you all the same sort of information. And they call it KDP Spy, but it's not the same as another Chrome plugin also called KDP Spy. What I've done here is in products which is the first so we logged in into book bulk and as you can see on the left hand side there is a lot of tools now these all come with the standard version of book bulk which is 9.99 a month or that you can get a discount of 20 percent if you use the keyword dream creative b so what i've done in products is I've actually typed in the keyword and kept it as general and didn't choose journal, music sheet, calendar, planner. I chose general and I searched for activity book and it gave me back 32 results with an average BSR of 63,996. Now that is not really all the books that are activity books. It is the ones that is returning that's got the keyword in it that says activity books on its own and the lowest price is 494 and the highest price is $29.90 and the average price is $10.14 and then it gives me a different keyword count telling me all the different words that people use so the first one that's come up trucks planes and cars coloring book rather than just an activity book it's also a coloring book and it's telling me the bsr rank but it's also giving me the estimated sales so i don't need to leave the site and go and use a sales calculator to work out what the sales are for that then it's the ultimate activity cat guide that's more an educational book to help you plan your different activities but this is a popular adult activity book Look at the BSR on that. It's really low, 4,285 and the estimated sales of 463. And these are all the related keywords as well. Easter activity books, activity books for adults, Osborne activity books. Now, you cannot use that in your back end keyword or in your title, subtitle or description or in your author name because it is a trademarked business. It's copyright as well. But... If you are doing Amazon ads, and I did a previous video to show Amazon ads, uh, the card will be in the right hand corner. And that shows you where you can actually go and put that keyword. And I've also done a video about keywords and a video about trademark. So the cards will be there for all of those. So there's kindergarten. Again, that's not trademarked. Uh, toddler, first grade, couple activity book, Thanksgiving activity book. So it goes through... This is just a general idea of the different types of activity books that you can do. So you could do a colouring activity book, activity book for adults, what you can include in it, um, noughts and crosses, or tic-tac-toe, it's called in America, dot to dots, uh, sudoku, dot, dot boxes, word search, colouring in, hangman, mazes, word scramble, jumbo activity book for kids, all the different things that are in there, toddlers activity book, shapes, Numbers, counting, colouring, paint by number, mazes is very popular. This dot mace and paint dabbers, kids book. So they use like um, bingo dabbers to dab the dots around to learn how to get the correct shapes of their letters. 
Again, another adult activity book, again with over 252 ratings of four stars, five stars, three stars, two stars. Yeah. Um, and again, the BSR ranking is 31,000. It's making 306 estimated sales over the month with that ranking. And then a car activity book. So that is products one. So that gives you all the different products that you can look for in your different area. And then the next one is sellers. So I've gone through and actually typed a seller in that I know that does very well in the activity uh, market. And it's called, he's called, act, he or she, don't know, activity slayer or a couple. Uh, 48 results, they've done 48 results of activity books and the average BSR, and you might think, well, that's quite high, but that's the average BSR of their 48 books. The lowest price is $6.97 and the highest, so they stick to their average price of $6.97. Now, this is their lowest BSR ranking. They're making 302 sales. They're selling for $6.97, so they're about $1.90 a, um, $1 a book that they're selling. And they're getting 302 sales from that, 107 sales from that. 107 sales. These are estimated, so they might be a bit over generous, but they are making a pretty steady income on thousands of sales on 48 books a month. So this is where the idea is about creating low con content books. It is a mixture of quality and quantity. It's about putting a quantity of books out there, but making sure that the quality is there so people keep coming back and buying them and you keep getting ratings, good ratings of four and five stars and people keep buying your product. And you make evergreen ones like Space Activity Book. Christmas is not evergreen, but it comes around every year. So in a sense, it is evergreen in that this will start taking off about now as people start purchasing presents for their grandchildren, their nieces, nephews, their children as um, stocking fillers. Winter activity book is arriving. Children, this might take off really well because a lot of schools haven't gone back. Um, teaching from home, homeschooling is taking place and we don't know what's going to happen with the rest of the year and COVID. Thanksgiving is round the corner. Unicorn, always popular, but there are probably other people that's knocked it off of its selling so but it's had seven ratings same here another unicorn dog activity book all year round penguin activity book so they are all there so we know the set the seller then the cloud is a brilliant way of searching for the latest books all the top books that are performing with regard to kindle books or independently published or create space books so i've put Top 100 notebook category, and again, you can change your categories to journal, music sheets, calendars, and planners. And I wanted the BSR below a million. Price range, I wasn't bothered. I didn't put any keywords in, and I just clicked search, and I've got nine pages of different books that are doing really well. So I've got sketchbook, I've got handwriting practice, handwriting practice here. And again, it gives you the average BSR for the past 30 days. And then it gives you an estimated moving average sales. So these sales do change. But actually, you can see, you know, guessing your best estimate, the price on there. And it even gives you the description that you can have a look at. You can do a time hop to see how well this book is. So just like Helium 10, where you can do a time hop, you can do it here as well. So you can see they had their price at 8.99 then... Uh, May they reduced it down to 5.99 to try and get their sellers rank to keep down. Then they rose it, and the sellers rank rose in June while people were trying to enjoy the summer holiday. And then the, it's gone back as kids have gone back to school or are now in home education. So that is the time hop for the last three months. And again. This sketch pad here has a time hop as well. And again, this one shows what the price is. Price is $4.59. They rose the price up to $5.75 and they also reduced it down to a dollar. They'd have made no money on that. And they were trying to get their sales rank 
below below 100,000. So there we go. And they're down to 5 hectare. So that's what they did there. And we can also save these to our favourites. So if I clicked on here and thought, no, I want to save that to my favourites, I can click on there. And it will ask me which category I want to save it. I can just save it in favourites. Now you can actually create your own categories. And I'll do that when I go through favourites. But the next one I like to use is Books Gap. Now this I use for when I am doing Amazon ads and keywords because it finds me all the different keywords that a certain book has ranked for me. Now this is the colouring in book that we saw at the top of the search here. So I took the ASIN number that you see there or it's also known as the ISBN 10 number and I put it in there and press search. Now I'm not showing you doing it because it, it does take a little bit of time to go and find the book and search the keywords and then I've ranked them in order of the best selling so toddler coloring books age two to four so their biggest keyword their best performing keyword is toddler then preschoolers boys coloring books for kids age two to four it's got trucks in it it keeps mentioning trucks ABC for cut because it is trucks there's plenty of trucks on there there's cars planes as well but the biggest thing is probably trucks that's selling now it's saying how many items there is that is returning that keyword of toddler coloring books. So there are a lot of people that are using these key terms. In fact, there's somebody not using that one, but 859. So that's one you could probably compete with. Jumbo coloring books for kids trucks. So if you make a truck book that's jumbo and for kids, you might be able to rank. And then the search volume is not on Amazon, it's on Google, because Amazon don't tend to release a lot of their search results. So that is Book Scout. And then this is Favourites. And here I've got one that I says is Activities. Then this is Favourites, which is the default one. And as you can see, the one we just did is there and waiting for me to go back and have a look at and investigate a bit more, just like some of these books again. So what I can do to add an activity, so I could uh, add a category, I mean, I could type in colouring books for boys. And then I could go through and search for colouring books for boys. And I have now got a category for me to save anything to do with colouring books for boys. Then the next great tool is keywords which is here and I typed in activity books again and it's returned me first grade activity books but this time this one actually does give you the Amazon search volume and the Google search volume and the cost per click with regards to Google rather than Amazon and it's saying whether it's high it's high competitive or there's no data now cutting activity books seem to be a new thing they seem to be taking off. Uh, schools have always used cutting guides to teach young kids how to do cutting. So there's Easter as well, Easter activity books, and there's all the keywords. These are all the covers as well, relevant products. Look how bright and shiny those are if you're going for kids. And then the good ones that are selling for adults as well. So first words do sell. So that is keywords. Then here is actually KDP category finder because when you upload your book, you find it difficult to find the categories. Now, if you look at, say, let's go back to this one here and we want to look at it on Amazon. So you just click on it. It takes you straight to Amazon. I can go down here and I can see which categories that is in, but you don't actually see parenting boys on your KDP back end when you're uploading your book, nor do you see children's construction vehicles books. So what we do is click on there, go back to the category finder, and it should tell me different ones that I could do. So I could do juvenile fiction picture books or uh, Juvenile non-fiction, juvenile non-fiction chapter books, non-fiction, juvenile fiction. So these are the different places that they have put it. Also, they have probably 
contacted Amazon and asked Amazon to put them in these different categories. So that's how you go and find it. So non-fiction, I don't know why it's law construction, but you wouldn't use that. You'd probably use juvenile, not juvenile fiction, non-fiction. And again, juvenile non-fiction readers chapter books. So that could be one and that could be another books in libraries. So that's how you find your categories. And then the next tool is the KDP spy tool. So you actually go to Amazon and let's just close it. You go to Amazon and you type in your keyword. So I've typed in the keyword activity book for kids four to eight. It's brought me this up. Then I've gone to the KDP spy extension and all I've done is clicked on it. I click start. So that's it started running, checking different things. I can stop it at any time and I can even save the results. So it's telling me what the average price is, is 14.19. The average BSR rate is 384. But we can see that that keyword is returning 50,000. So I wouldn't compete for that keyword in any way. I might have it in my back end, but it wouldn't be in my title. That is the KDP spy. Then this is the book lister, which is listed down here, book bolt lister tool. And what you do is you set up your different profiles. So you add a profile. And then you would do your first, your subtitle, name of author, first name, description, keywords. You'd put your HTML description, your seven backing keywords. When I say seven, I mean fill the rows with seven and then select your categories. So nonfiction, um, or you can do juvenile nonfiction. In fact, they've got activity books there. So you would select that and you'd fill all of that in. You would save what your book was, glossy, done. And then what you do is when you go into your back end of your um, KDP, you would use that to upload your information, especially if you've got more than one book. So it's great if you're doing interiors that are similar, like planners or diaries or notebooks where you've got different covers, but you've got the same interior. And all you do is change the subtitle a little bit to say something like green planner, blue planner, cow planner, dog planner, cute dog planner within your subtitle. So that allows you to do that. Now, if you go for Book Bolt Pro, you then get Puzzle Wiz, which has got all these different puzzles. It's got Sudoku, Crossword, Word Search, Cryptogram, Word Scramble, Missing Vowel, Maze, Kakuro, Grayscale, Outline, Connect the Dots. And this is a drawing that I did. And all you do to do the dots is just literally click. And if you're not happy where it is, you just drag it and move it to where you want it to be. And it saves it as a PDF. So as you can see, it says pick an image file, draw the dots on it and export it as a PDF file. So when I'm happy with it, I can submit it and it will work its magic and allow me to. It's downloading. So in fact, it's ready because I've only done half a thing. Download your last document. And that is it. That's the beginning of my sheet, my leaping lamb, shall we say. It's got word searches, so you put your words in, it fills them up, it counts them, does random, includes the solution, mix and match, cryptogram, crossword. I've used the Kakuru, and I have sold a couple of books on the Kakuru using that. Uh, the thing I've got with Puzzle Wiz is that you can't change the size of your font, so you can't do large fonts or large size images. It's a standard size. You can change your font type to any of the Google fonts, but you can't change the um, size, which is something that I wasn't quite happy with. But it's a nice, simple software to use, and it will create you your puzzles. And when I purchased it, it was only Sudoku, Crossword, uh, Word Scramble was there, 
and that was it. And since then, they've upgraded it. They've put mazes. Mazes are nice because there's lots of maze books and you can put lots of pictures with them and make them your own individual mazes. So there's that. Also, in the normal one, not the pro one. So the pro one, the difference is you get puzzle with. In the normal one, you get design. So here, if I just click it, not that. I click here and go on create. You can see it says book bolt designer. So if I click there, it takes me to this. And then you can choose either your cover or your interior. So I've got a cover. And the one thing I want to show you is it makes patterns for you. So I've just gone and got an image off a uh, Pixabay and reduced it down. And I click on patterns and I've done vertical bricks and it's made me a nice pattern. I love that because I have spent ages doing patterns or I use um, Adobe to uh, Adobe Photoshop to do patterns or Illustrator. So that is just so simple. So you just upload your different pictures. So I clicked on shapes and then all I'm going to do is just drag that out, make it a bit bigger. In the middle. Uh, or I could have used this one. Let's get rid of that one, of course, because I like that's gone. And then we can just drag that there and you can put text. Text. Can't find it for looking. And then you can choose your different text that you want to use. And then put it on top. And uh, I love penguins. And I can change the colour of the font. Lighting white. And that is how I make a quick cover, which is the right size to what I want to use without me trying to find out what I've got to do for the size or anything like that. Then another tool that you also get is bolt mass cover converter. So if you have done any t-shirt designs for Merch or Petit Springs Azzle, any of those, then you can look at book bolt cover converter and it will instantly put your images onto the right size cover that you want. So if you're doing just notebooks, six by nine, uh, type in your 120 pages and then select your background so if you want it all black because your images match it then you would upload your images that you've created I haven't created any that would do and it would automatically take all of those images and create you your covers so that is book bolts so book bolts just to Book Bolt. I'll give you the prices again. So, prices is you can either have monthly, monthly at $9.99 or $19.99. If you put Dream Creative B into the coupon, it will give you 20% uh, off. So, you can get a free day free trial to check it out to see what you want. There's also a yearly one and again put Dream Creative B. So if you click here, put a free trial, it'll ask you to put your information in, repeat the password, next and login. So that is how you fill in all your information and when it wants a coupon just put the coupon Dream Creative B and you get 20% off. So this is my book bolt review. Uh, I like it for research. I don't really, I use the cover creator 
I don't use the interior creator. I use PowerPoint for that. And um, with the puzzle, again, I like how simple it is. I like the fact that it's got crossword as well. What I don't like is that I can't change the size of it to be in large print uh, without doing some extra bits of work to it. So for Book Bolt, I'm going to give it a nice 8 out of 10. It's a good, solid product. It comes from the people that create Merch Informer. So they know what they're talking about when it comes to Amazon products. They know about the keywords. They know how to go about searching. They know the importance of BSR. They know the numbers. The numbers are pretty spot on. So it's a good program. 8 out of 10. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. And don't forget your coupon code, which is Dream Creative B. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go and watch the video again or ask questions in the comments. Over on the right hand side, there are some training and review videos. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified about any new videos on my channel.